AI is rapidly surpassing humans in just about every field, but there's one thing that separates us from machines. Emotions. Can AI understand the most primal human emotions, like fear, and create something truly terrifying? To put this to the test, I challenged my friend Sam Yam to see who can make the scariest game in one hour, but we can only use AI tools. Will algorithms be able to evoke the same sense of dread and terror that make horror games so thrilling, or will they fall short when it comes to truly understanding the intricacies of human emotion. This was an absolutely crazy experiment, so enjoy the video and consider subscribing if you like it. All right, so first, let's go ahead and call Sam Yam and get started. Hello, Sam Yam, are you ready to push AI to the limits? I am so ready, Polymar. And spoilers, I'm going to win. No, you're not. <laughs> I'll set a timer for one hour, and as soon as I press this button, the challenge will begin. Are you ready? to lose yes no <laughs> let's go three two one go <laughs> all right good luck i hope you win definitely i hope you lose this we only have one hour but we're gonna beat poly mars at his own game so sam yam is no match for us as we already know but just to play it safe i have carefully planned out exactly how we're going to create the scariest game using only ai tools so i went ahead and put together a little google doc for you guys the ai horror game this is the master doc that will allow us to create the scariest horror game in the world but i don't even know what to do because i don't play horror games because i am a scaredy cat first things first we're going to create a concept for a one hour horror game using chat gpt which is an ai that can write just about everything we're gonna ask chat gpt here he made idea for her game to make in one hour one idea for a horror game that first you can make in one game game psychiatric psychiatric hospital. okay i didn't ask for your life story bozo give me the details roams the hall oh i like this can you write me the code for all of this abandoned asylum here we go freaking so we take place in an asylum all right um while that's doing that i'm going to go to damn i have so many tabs i can't even find anything all right so for art we have a few tools that we can work with we have luma labs which is ai generated 3d model absolutely insane that this is even possible what would what would stinky winky look like oh my god oh <gasps> This is amazing. <laughs> I'm gonna use this one. Lexica, which is like 2D art. Eleven Labs, which you can use for voice synthesis. It's a little interesting, but we'll get to it later. So, we have 55 minutes. We kind of wasted five minutes doing absolutely nothing. So, here. Let the magic happen. <laughs> Mom, it rigged it pretty great, actually. To start off, let's create a floor. This is the floor of our asylum. So, let's create a little floor here. A 3D, 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 3D. But the... the the, the now we have a first person controller 3d <laughs> object plane plane there we go and then for our player the adventurer exploring the haunted asylum how do we represent such a creepy and mysterious character that that should do the trick so right now the player can't move and this should hopefully cover the basis for simple character movement hopefully or else we will be a little bit screwed for this competition i have no idea how to make a maze by the way you haven't figured that out by now i'm just just putting random stuff here uh, now for the maze obviously obviously it's looking a little bad right so let's just use some AI generated textures. Let's create a C sharp script and paste in our chat GPT code. And now, in theory, we should be able to walk around as our player. <laughs> Sorry, that's so funny. Um, there's no character. Con okay, guys, 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 don't, guys. I have, ev I have everything under, I have everything under control. Um, okay, it's fine. Now it should work perfectly fine. Now, okay, wait, we can walk around. I think. Why is it so bad? Wait, it, you can't rotate. You can't rotate. All right, so a big thing in horror games, obviously, is the lighting. So right now, it's uh, definitely not good. Hey, chat GPT. This freaking sucks. Okay, this time, I'm going to be a bit more specific. Hopefully, chat GPT will work now. Is it working? We did it. Okay, now, with the power of AI, we can look around with the mouse as you see our characters moving around. And then we can walk. And this is the foundation for the scariest AI game ever. 
Now that we have the code for our player, we need to build the asylum. What if I use mid journey? I say slash imagine video game texture abandoned asylum. Let's see if mid journey can generate the texture that we're looking for. We do not have time for this. Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. Okay, 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 wait, this is kind of cool. Wait, this is kind of sick. Wait, hold on guys. Right, let's make some music. If this isn't the wall for an abandoned asylum, then I don't know what is. This is amazing. Okay. Oh, that was exhausting. Wow, that one sounds really cool. We have our movement code. We need a monster for our game. Let's take a let's take a look again. So these are the things we have to do. The player must navigate the hospital's dark and creepy corridor, solve puzzles, and find clues to uncover the hospital's secrets. So what I'm thinking what we do is we make a maze. We basically turn this asylum into a maze where you have to find like eight hidden clues while also avoiding a monster. Let's just look up floor. I'm sure we can find a nice floor texture. This should do the trick. So we have our texture. So now it's time to build up our asylum environment. Let's see how this new floor looks in game for our asylum. Let's make a new one. Oh, this is so sick. Wait, hold on. And now we are inside of an asylum. And look at that. This is absolutely beautiful. Sorry. We have 40 minutes left. So we've used 20 minutes. We have 20 more minutes. Uh, I have to collect eight things to win in this asylum. What should the things be? A vial of holy water. So this is our vial of... Let's take this very fancy bottle of holy water. And then we need to create supernatural entities that haunt you in this asylum. Guys, I think we have found our supernatural entities. We have Goku Dragon Ball, a beautiful character render of Guy Manuel wearing a Daft Punk helmet with shimmering gold coat in T-pose, highly detailed, a ghost. And finally, scary monster, highly detailed intricates. I love how this is just like so bad. <laughs> so this is our vial of holy water. Aha, uh -huh. oh, it's beautiful. The next step that we need to do is turn this asylum into a maze and hide the vials throughout the maze. We have 26 minutes left. We are over the halfway point. Let's hope we can do this pretty quickly. Um. Whoa, okay. <laughs> Let's see how this maze looks and works in game. So you shouldn't be able to walk through walls, okay? Pretty solid, pretty solid. It's functional, which is great. To kind of make this maze a little bit harder, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my uh, lighting settings and I'm going to turn down the lighting. Yo, <gasps> this is so sick. From here, I will create a spotlight. Oh my God, now we have a horror game. This is beautiful and you can collect the vial. This game is coming together literally just in time because we are running out of time. So what we need to do is hide the vials across the map. I'll put one here, one here, I'll put one here, put it one at the very end of the maze. Okay, so now we have scattered our secret collectibles across the map. When you collect all eight of them, a windscreen needs to be loaded. Make a Unity script that displays epic text like you win and woo wah we basically just some kind of like you know standard like windscreen it's looking pretty good but we need to add the actual monsters to our game and our monsters need to have voice acting write a script for a monster that chases the player let's start off with this supernatural entity right here beautiful this model is not scary enough for a jump scare but you know what can generate absolutely horrifying jump scares mid journey so using mid journey we are going to generate an absolutely terrifying jump scare let's see what mid journey can come up with also how much time do we have left okay five minutes okay all right hurry 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 oh these these look great these look great <laughs> guys these are so cursed this is going to be the most horrifying jump scare i've ever put into a game so now in theory when you get close enough to the among us a jump scare should spawn I have permanent emotional trauma now, but at least it works. And then the biggest thing that we need is a jump scare sound. So what we need to do is create a beautiful, absolutely horrifying sound for when we get jump scared. <laughs> shop, 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 shop. Okay, okay. Oh. 
Oh, time's up. I don't know if this works. <laughs> I have no idea if this works. Last thing we do. Okay, okay, guys, guys, we have 0.9 seconds left. We still have time. We still have time. Oh, God. Okay, Sam, Sam is typing. Is time up? We have four seconds. We have four sec, guys. We have we have four seconds. We have four seconds. Four. Four. Um, four. Three. Wait, what is this script? Wait, what the heck? Wait, wait, okay, wait. Four. We have 26 seconds. 26 seconds. Um. I love he was like, four more seconds left, like five minutes ago. <laughs> Okay, that that's time. Hello. Oh, she hasn't joined yet. Okay, guys, we we have time. We have time. She'll never know. She'll never know. Uh, Hello. <laughs> I'm finally finished. Uh, not an hour. No, it was definitely it was definitely only one hour. I'm going to demo my game, so I will be back. Okay, guys. I didn't want to say this on call with Samyam, but I have no idea if this game is actually playable and if you can actually win. So it's going to be a big issue if we can't beat the game. I think the monsters might go through walls, which is a problem because you can't go through walls. So you can get cornered by a monster and it's over. Let, let's just play through the game and see if we can beat it now. Um, I think this is a dead end. Yeah, that's bad. Don't, so d never go into dead end. Kami, how <laughs> Oh, that's the wrong way. Oh god, no, 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 it's it's AI generated Goku. No, please, please, I, I went the wrong way. No, please, 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 please. Kami, how much? Okay, guys, the game might be impossible, but the real enjoyment comes from the experience. It comes from the journey. Even if there is no destination, it's all about the journey, and that's where the real thrill comes from. So I think this game really serves as a bit of a deeper metaphor for life. I feel like you can apply these things. All right, guys, the time is officially up. It is time for us to play each other's games, and then chats will vote on who created the scariest horror game. So first, dun, dun, dun. we have Stinky Winky. Great name by Samia. Okay, so this is Stinky Winky. Oh god, there's like creepy noise. Oh, what the heck? What is that? Why is he dancing? Like, whoa, okay, 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 okay. Why am I so slow? <laughs> he's coming, he's coming. Wait. No, no, what the heck? What the heck? <laughs> <laughs> Huh? I won! Let's go! Yay! Oh god, no, 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 no. <laughs> Alright, Sammy M is going to play Sussy Asylum, the scariest horror game of all time. Alright. Yeah, you're we have a now. very similar game. Chat, you, what the <laughs> what is that, Goku? Oh no. What? We I literally think, made the same game. I think you're screwed. Game. I think you're screwed. Where did you get these sounds from? I made them. I made them myself with text to speech. Yeah, I used oh, Mid Journey. Image? I used Mid Journey to generate jump scare images. Oh my god, yeah. that's so smart! I didn't think of that. Oh, okay. Yeah, there there should What's be four this? other monsters, and you go up to these. These are vials of holy water. You press E to collect the vials of holy water. Oh god, uh, it might be over for you. Jump, jump, jump. Yeah, that's Crocky Walkie. Jump. He's like a scary alligator. It's so bad, the noise. <laughs> it's so funny. This is not scary at all. What do you mean? What do you mean? This is horrifying. I don't know what you're talking about. So with that, it is time vote to- Vote for your favorite horror yeah, games. We can send it to both of our chats. Yeah, because you're just going to be so biased and you have so many viewers probably. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, the scariest AI horror game. I don't even need to say it. Just, just vote for the greater game. Vote for the game that has an orange among us, has Goku. Vote um, for the game that the characters don't go through the walls. Okay, guys, 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 chill out, guys, chill out, guys, chill out, <laughs> guys, please, please. Uh, th 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 I think this was rigged. This is rigged. I think we all agree <laughs> that this was a little, a little rigged and that my game is better. It's just that I had like a lot less viewers. So it's like, you kind of cheated. <laughs> you literally have so many no, more I followers. Think, I, th I think you're just like cheating. I think you're cheating. Well, there we go. This was our one hour. AI competition. Uh, that was just that I won. That was just com completely no, completely rigged against me. Do you have any final words? Um, I told you so. That that's it.